H.265 versus H.264 when to use each codec. Let me break it down to you. For the H.264, you get larger files but easier to edit and share. It is better for quick turnaround projects, suitable for phones with limited processing power, and it's universally compatible and it supports most of the editing apps. For the H.265, you get smaller files with higher quality. This is ideal for 4K footages. It has a 50% smaller file size than the other one. The H.265 is great for professional post-production workflows or if you just want to save space without losing the quality because it gives you high image quality especially in motion and in shadows. Although H.265 requires a little bit more processing power so this may impact your battery and thermal performance. And one thing to note this is less compatible with older devices and softwares. To simply put, for broader compatibility, fast editing and sharing, older but wildly compatible, go with the H.264. If you're aiming for storage efficiency and color grading workflows, and if you're confident that your device can handle this because this one is computationally heavy, then go with the H.265.